I'm Dr. Dean Hamer. I work at the National Institutes of Health, and I've been working on the genetics of human personality for the last 30 years. Did you go through a lot of controversy when you first came out with the thought that, oh, I'm gonna, you know, look for why gay people are that way? When I decided to study sexual orientation, the reaction from most of my scientific colleagues was, what are you doing? No one's ever done that before. Is that really scientific? And of course, as they thought about it a little bit, they said, actually, that's a really important problem. You should study that. Almost every aspect of personality has a strong genetic basis. Um, being gay is just one of those. It just happens to be more controversial than most of the other ones. All right, well, if it's only a gene that can be destroyed, why can't we just destroy it and just because, be straight? Because it's not just a gene. It's also what happens in your brain, your pattern of thoughts, of feelings, and emotions that develop over your entire life. So even though that may have started out as no more than a few genes and a few cells in your brain, it is now a part of who you are. So changing your orientation would be the same as changing everything about you, which nobody can do and which nobody should be forced to do. All right, is it okay if I use your comments and you and your partner's faces in this video? Yes, that would be fine. Joe? I do agree with this, yes. Okay. <laughs>